a fascinating subject because uh, uh, so far we have been uh, we agreed on everything. But uh, if we have uh, to uh, imagine what the future will be for our country, of course uh, there is no single answer. Let's put it like this. It's, uh, uh, the euro is like a rock that is tied on the neck of someone that is trying to swim. So as long as uh, there is uh, the rock, uh, you are sure that uh, the guy is going to draw. But uh, without the rock, is not guaranteed that the guy knows how to swim and which kind of style he would, would decide to, to swim. Uh, so it's, it's sort of uh, thinking ahead and uh, are we able to swim and uh, which kind of style we have to, we have to, to, uh, to implement. Um, so everyone has got an own opinion. Uh, my opinion is that uh, we have to focus uh, on uh, demography. For Italy, this is the number one problem that we have to face once we are free from the euro. Because uh, if a society has uh, 1.2 child for each couple, it doesn't need to be a mathematician to understand that uh, that society is going to die. And that's the number. I mean, the, the figure for Italy is 1.2. And of course, the solution is not uh, the substitution with uh, the population, with uh, someone coming from abroad. Because this is an invasion. So, it's not so a state that is in full power and can decide which kind of politics to pursue and mark my word with your currency you can do it. think about Japan Japan has got something like a 200 and something that uh, on, on public uh, uh, on public product. Do you think anyone that is concerned about the Japan debt solvability? It's negative up to 10 years. The yield of Japan bonds is negative up to 10 years of yield, and the public debt is 200 and something of gross domestic product. So the legend that outside the euro your debt is going to be uh, bought by no one is a legend. Because even with 200 and something public debt and no particular growth, they did are below zero. And then they have uh, tsunamis, uh, earthquake, uh, every kind of uh, unlucky situation, I would say, that probably would end in a deep recession. No, they are using their tool that the monetary sovereignty is uh, uh, allowing them to stay afloat, and they are pretty relaxed on that. But why they don't grow? They don't grow because of the demography. Because it's an aging population, and it's impossible to grow in this kind of uh, environment. So, we are able to use all the tools that we can in order to solve this problem. So, I'm thinking about deep prices, rich prices for the couple that uh, wanted to have children, uh, deep help uh, in terms of uh, tax cut, and beyond that, another thing that Italy as to address is the difference between North and South. And uh, we have to be daring. This is valid for everyone. We have to be daring because this crisis told us things that we overlooked. The power of the money, the power of the currency, 
was not in our agenda. We were pouring money in the South without thinking that probably with two different economies, this was not going to work. Exactly like it's not working the, the Greece uh, uh, packages or whatsoever uh, in order to restore viability of the Greece economy. Italy is like, uh, let's say, France in the north and Greece in the south. There is no, when we look at the statistic of Italy, these numbers apply to no Italian region. There is not a single Italian region for which the statistic or the macro statistic applies. Because either they are too low for the north, either they are too high for the south. So, provided that we will have a, a white sheet in order to rebuild our future, we can think in the future, once uh, the, the texture of the economy has been rebuilt, uh, and believe me, this is going to happen. Look, for example, at Argentina. Argentina made the same mistake of Greece, Italy, or something like this. They blocked the, 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 the exchange. You remember, one peso equal, equal one dollar. Not so wise. Argentina is not the US. But it's not because they are less um, important, they are less... No, they are different. And uh, when you match different economies, the single currency is a disaster. Once they move from, from, the, from the parity, peso dollar, the growth that followed was impressive. So I'm, I have no doubt that there will be growth after the... Uh, the, the, uh, the uh, break up of the European, the European Monetary Union. But what we have to do after we have rebuilt the texture, we can think, for example, at two currency for a single nation. How, how amazing, but it's possible. Because nothing else worked, for example, in order to restore the south of Italy uh, competitivity. It's a own currency for the south of Italy, one for the north of Italy, could do the magic. Because of the same reason that could do for Greece, that could do for, uh, for Italy, or something like that. I, I bet that very few of you have spent a holiday in Sicily. It's, it's strange, because it should be one of the prime, uh, the prime, the prime uh, seaside resort of, uh, of Europe. Isn't the south of Italy, great climate, wonderful sea, but it's too expensive. The, the having of before the lira and now the euro brings Sicily out of the market. If ever Sicily would have a money, a currency, uh, adapted to, to its economy, I'm sure that everyone will find uh, interesting considering Sicily as a destination without making unfair competition or something like this, because we have seen that everyone is able to stand on their own feet once they have their own currency. So it's possible to think that the north of Italy will not have unfair advantage in, in, in form of industrial prices that they always enjoyed. And of course, because north of Italy, industry had the lira. So it means that all the product of the north of Italy has been sold, when there was the lira, at a discount on the world market. Because instead of having a sort of north of Italy Deutsche market, had the lira. So all the product done in north of Italy were dumping price in the rest of the world. And the south was penalized by the very same reason that the Greece is penalized towards Germany, and France it is towards Germany. So it's possible to think that uh, the power of uh, adjusting for economy of the currency could be adapted also for different economic areas, even within a single state. I'm thinking very ahead. It's not something that should be done tomorrow. <laughs> but probably is a way, this kind of, this could be a gift of this, this crisis that teach us some creative way in order to solve deeply rooted problem of development that has never been solved and never been tackled with the right tools. 
At the end of the story, I want that all the country and all the region are able to bring up their diversity. We have to cling to our diversity. France should be France, it should not be big Europe or something like this. The world loves France because it's France. And it should be put in the context and with all the, the, the way to exploit their strength. Not to melt in something bigger that, that, is, that is untasted. And the same should happen for Italy. Italy has got different... Uh, France is, is, a, is a state that is more centralized. Italy is very decentralized and this should be encouraged. So, it's something that uh, I really hope that uh, all of us, once we have uh, taken back uh, our, the power of uh, the government, will be able to exploit the strength of our countries and not the weakness. And uh, hoping that uh, this crisis uh, teach us uh, that uh, the future for Europe will be a future of peace between different people.